Hi everybody, this is Tosh Daryl and welcome to my review of Jet Set Radio, a game with over-the-top antics and a soundtrack that just won't leave you alone. With this being my first review, I'm not going to say anything like go easy on me or anything like that, but I will say that if you like the format I'm using, which is based off of ACG aka Angry Centaur Gaming, his channel, the way he does his reviews, I love it, so I adopted the format. I'm a huge fan of this. Um, style of recording, uh, recording, <laughs> style of reviewing. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing or how I execute it in my way, then let me know. Otherwise, if you hate it, then tell me what I can improve and what I can do better. That's all I ask. Anyway, all that fluff aside, let's dive right into the review, starting with a brief synopsis of the story. In Jet Set Radio, you play as a variety of characters, but it's mostly centered around the GGs, a gang of three members initially that vandalize and spray graffiti all over their established ter territory in Tokyoto, or their specific area being Shibuya Cho within Tokyoto. They do this as a sign of expression, much like most of the other gangs out there in the area. However, ever since the Rokaku group was established, those gangs and more collectively known as Rudy's, if we're putting them all in a, in a basket here, have had a much harder time expressing themselves through graffiti as the Rokaku group sought to not only arrest them, but keep them behind bars for as long as they can. That said, there is something much deeper going on in the streets of Tokyoto. Much deeper than simple gangs versus the feds deal that we're all used to and it's up to you to get to the bottom of it. Now that I've got you up to speed with the story, or at least this non-spoiler version of the story, let's move on to how the game holds up graphically. Now it's no secret that Jet Set Radio was released a long time ago, originally for the Sega Dreamcast in the year 2000, so roughly about 18 years by now. So one would think, or assume, that the graphics can't possibly hold up to the standards that we have today for games. You know, one's releasing in 4K, 8K, supporting 32K <laughs> graphics. That last one's a joke. If it's not a joke and there's actually 32K something out there, just give it to me, please. I'm desperate. Anyway, let me tell you now, those people aren't quite looking at the big picture here. Yes, it is true that Jet Set Radio has aged as a game, and it could look better, but it has aged like a fine wine. This is largely thanks to the cell shaded cartoony style that it has, as it emits charm and fun with every pivot of your inline skates. But if flat textures and low res images are a huge turnoff for you when you see them plastered on various objects and buildings, then the game may not look the greatest to you. But if that part doesn't really bother you, then you're in for a treat as the colorful nature of Jet Set Radio is sure to entice you with its unique vibe. Speaking of vibes, let's move on to how the game sounds. That's beautiful. Sound ah! Let go of me! Ah, wait, what was that? Well, I didn't need it, but I thought it was something else. Ah! Nailed it. Okay, so this is the part that is actually pretty tricky for the game. Due to its age and the tech at the time, this is the best it could do. Well, maybe it could have done better, but that's a maybe, maybe not scenario that I don't have the time to go through right now, so I'll try and keep it objective here, at least as best as I can. The game does great at separating sounds from each other. You'll know when someone is chasing you, when you spray something to oblivion, and when you land on the ground, be it on your feet or on your face. Some sounds are satisfying, like the sound of your skates going across surfaces, various ones, grinding or just skating through the area in general. Spray cans sound like spray cans, this and the other. Gunshots, voice lines, and the like aren't hindered by all the action that can be happening on the screen, since the isolation of each sound is frankly done really well. However, this is where the game's age starts to show. A lot of the time, the voices will sound muffled, and sometimes they will be overpowered by the music or other events going on in the game. That said, you can tweak these in the options menu, but 
it won't necessarily help the voices sound any less muffled. However, I recommend you don't turn down the music. I don't know where he went, but I know exactly where to go. I think. Oh, he found a shortcut. Well, <laughs> this part might get edited out. Really? You waited? The soundtrack for Jet Set Radio is a blast of fun and groovy rhythms with a lot of hip-hop and rock thrown in with the pop music. Or whatever music it feels like being at the moment. I can only think of one track I didn't particularly care for, but that's strictly a personal problem, not a problem with the song itself. The music in Jet Set Radio is what gives the game its personality, and frankly if you're going to call it Jet Set Radio, you better make sure the music is enjoyable to listen to. Tracks don't feel the same as one another and will swing you every which way and may even make you play the level longer than you need to, just so you can enjoy the music. Oh, and I really love the character selection soundtrack. I will it's pick. very simple, yet addictive. But can the same be said Why not? about the I'll gameplay? Pick the short answer is yes. While it takes some getting used to, or maybe I just suck, you tell me, Jet Set Radio's level design, while aged, makes this game. Hidden paths, interesting locations to spray, heck, I can't tell you how many times I've seen a spot where I needed to spray and thought, how the heck am I going to get up there? You can debate and say that, hey, any game with great level design is automatically going to have addicting gameplay, but not every game can get it right. And even, though, even, even if the level design is good, that doesn't necessarily mean the gameplay is fun. What makes the gameplay fun in Jet Set Radio is the fact that you can make your own way to each location that you need to spray. Whether it's an intended way, or you were just clever enough to, you know, best the game at its own game. The game gives you plenty of time to do what you've got to do. The enemies and the time limit are about the only things that are going to make each level feel hectic. For example, the enemies that love to grab you and hold on to you forever. Like May from Overwatch, just spraying you consistently with her ice until you're just frozen forever in her clutches. Anyway, the only thing I found truly lackluster was the boss battle. The final boss battle, which I won't spoil for those of you who didn't watch my Let's Play, but I just felt like it could have been done better. It could have done more. That said, it doesn't hinder the game's enjoyable nature at all. Admittedly, I only add this section to the review if there are any bugs or if you should expect any, but I'll make an exception here just to tell you that this portion may come into play in some games if I discover any bugs, mainly game-breaking bugs. In Jet Set Radio, however, I haven't encountered any game ba breaking bugs. Game baking. <laughs> game breaking bugs, thankfully. And without further ado, I'll tell you if Jet Set Radio is a go for it, caution, or avoid type of game. In case it wasn't obvious enough already, the game is a go for it. If you're a fan of platformers, and the like, or just want something wacky and fun to play, then Jet Set Radio is the name of the game. It's fun, it's witty, it's sometimes just plain weird, but that is what makes it so endearing. Not to mention that the game is only 7 hours long, for the main story only, if you're not trying to do anything else, and this is according to HowLongToBeat.com, which I use to help judge what games I'll play on the channel, and which ones I'll hold off on for a bit. The game is also only $8. On Steam. So even if I were to say caution, if you got eight dollars, eight bucks, and wanted to give it a whirl anyways, then by all means do it. There's no harm to it. I promise you, you won't regret playing Jet Set Radio. I hope you guys really enjoyed this review of Jet Set Radio. Let me know if you liked it, if you hated it, if you think I need to improve anything, if you think it's fine the way it is. I'm open to most, if not all, suggestions. I say most because some people suggest some really silly things on other channels and I've seen them. And I'm like, why would you do that? That that would ruin them. <laughs> Joking. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later.